Alright everybody, it looks like we are now live. What is going on? Riff Nintendo here, and I am now ready to go live and do the stream. Hell yeah. So it's a Friday night stream. So we should be able to get more, more content out of this one. I'm going to sit down to make sure everything's all good. That is about the worst camera angle I've ever had. That's better. Alright, it's going to change over to gameplay, and then we can start the stream. Awesome. How's it going, John? Thanks for joining the stream so early, dude. Really appreciate it. I am Finge. That is my name. Alright, let's do this. So we're going back to the engine room and hopefully we'll be finishing Gold Leaf Galaxy today. So let's do it. In we go, Yahoo! Um, what else have I done? Oh yeah, I managed to move the PS3 into the Entertainment Center, so now I have the PS3 hooked up and ready to go. If I ever want to do anything on that, which I highly doubt I'll ever want to do anything on the PS3 in terms of streaming, but at least it's down here with the rest of the setup now, which is nice. So yeah, when it rains it pours, lads. I was just in the middle of watching Attack of the Clones. You, sir, are a man of culture. Alright, this is just the boss fights, it's pretty easy. Then we'll just have a secret star and... The, uh, the Comet, which is the race against Cosmic Mario, and then we'll be done with that, so it's not going to be too difficult, thankfully. And then we'll be able to move on to Sea Slide Galaxy, which is obviously the worst, one of the worst in the entire game, I hate it, but um, at least we'll be able to get that out of the way, and then we'll be able to move on to the garden. So, in terms of, in terms of how we're going with progress in this, we're actually not doing too badly, which is nice. We're actually getting stuff done relatively quickly, which is nice. We're certainly not uh, delaying anything or whatnot. So no, I'm quite pleased about how we're... Uh, ooh, Secret Star, indeed. Um, I believe it's just... I believe the Secret Star is pretty easy to get. That's right, I need to come up here and get the B. Uh, but yeah, it's really not going to be that difficult, these, these later stars, which is nice. They're not difficult, they're just kind of long and annoying, really. We've done... We've done we've done all the difficult ones now. I'm pretty sure. And that's good. I'm very pleased with the amount of progress I'm making with Luigi, because it's really. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're doing it faster with Luigi than I did it with Mario, which is good to see. And then of course after we finish Galaxy One, we're moving on to Galaxy Two, and then after that we'll be doing some Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and then after that God knows what I'll do because I haven't really decided yet, because that's like two games in advance, and that's as far as I can think right now. So yeah, we'll have to see what we move on to after that. Um, I am open to suggestions if anyone wants to suggest anything. Keep in mind it has to be within like what, what games I already have and whatnot. It's kind of hard to play games that I don't own. Okay, there's our Cloud Boy. Hopefully the audio is all good, everybody. I think it should be fine, though. Alright, let's do this. Ah, bummer. Actually, no, no. This can still work. Yep, this can still work. This can definitely still work. Oh, never mind. I think I'm stuck now. Or am I? Ha ha ha! I don't need your stupid power-ups, game. I'm a gamer. Wait, hang on a second. Is it going to give me the option to get a B power-up? Because otherwise, I don't think I can actually make this. Or, or am I not supposed to have the B power up here, and I just had it last time, which made it easier? I don't know. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. To you, you're totally not supposed to have it, so that's good. But still, that was some pretty, pretty pog gameplay that happened just then. And there's one hit on. And there's another hit. See if I can get three in one. Doubtful, but I'll try. Maybe if I can get hit by those like so many times. Um, I reckon I can probably get off a triple jump, and then maybe I um, maybe I'll be able to get it if I do that. I'm sure. I definitely can't get that. It's gonna be pixel perfect. Oh, never mind. We did it. Let's go. Finch is a game up. Finch is very lucky and knows the mechanics of the game, but yes, Finch is also a gamer. Uh, wh where am I going to land? Oh, right next to it, sweet. Hell yeah! That was epic. That was truly heckin' epic. 
Oops, did not mean to kick my symbol there, whoopsies. Alright, that's that done, so now we just have to do the Secret Star and the Comet Medal. Uh, not the Comet Medal, that's Galaxy 2, the Comet, the Prankster Comet they're called. God, how do I forget that? That's fine, don't worry about it everybody. Uh, the Comet will probably be there. Yep, there it is, Cosmic Comet. Pretty simple, just gotta race Cosmic Mario and that's about it. Um, I'm running a little bit behind in terms of uploading videos to my channel. Um, I, did, I haven't uploaded yesterday's yet, and once this one goes up, that one won't be up yet. But um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and start uploading yesterday's stream tonight, and hopefully this one tonight as well, so, that, so I'm not too far behind. But no, we should be fine, everybody. We should be a okay. All right, let's do this Cosmic Mario race, or Cosmic Luigi race in this case. But no, I know I'm running um, a little bit behind with uploading these, but that'll be rectified. Pretty soon, don't worry. This race really isn't very this race isn't really that high once you know what you're doing. There we go. Easy peasy, dude. Easy peasy. But yeah, rest assured, I will try and get up to date with these uploads pretty soon because I know they expire eventually, so I've got to do that. So yeah, after the stream, I'll upload yesterday's and then I'll try and get one up tonight as well. And it'll be epic. And there we go. More starts with collection. So we'll go and do the secret star now, everybody, and then we will move on to uh, Sea Slide, I think it's called. And then, yeah, we should be able to get up to the boss fight and a bit of the garden today if we're lucky. So, I'll do my best, obviously, but um, we'll see how we go. I always, I, I do always tend to underestimate how long things take, though. So, we'll see. I, I, I will do my best, though. Okay, it's not there, bummer. Okay, gotta take the long way around, that's okay. Oh wow, I somehow managed to get that. Nice. For context, these little ones are really hard to get pixel. Pixel perfect. Get in mind, they're actually all they all go in the same spot, which is makes it kind of boring, but that's alright. Got some star bits out of it. And that's always nice. We do love some bits. Hello, Mr. Catquack. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta get actually no, we don't need the B power. We need to Go around, go around back here. Use this bubble over here. Blow ourselves up to the heavens. To this, I believe it's no, it's not a bell. I believe it's. Oh wait, no, I believe we have to spawn the bell, don't we? There we go. So you ring that bell, and then you have to do this this puzzle here in order to spawn where the star is. So get ready for some. Epic music time. Nice, and then you get the star, and it's epic. Pretty, pretty easy. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe it at all, it happened again. I gotta try it a third time. Not gonna lie, it's kinda pathetic. There we go. Actual gamer moment. Oh god. I really need to sit up in my chair. Why is the camera so low? Can I tilt it up anymore? Not really. Not without messing up the camera angle. But I'm right. Oh, never mind. That's better. Cool. And I believe that finishes up everything we can do in Goldleaf Galaxy for now, which is nice. Let me sit back a little bit so we can get a... There we go. That's way more comfy. That is... That's the game changer right there. Yep, yeah, so that's all we can do with Toy Time and Goldleaf for now. So now we move on to Seaside Galaxy. The stars aren't that long in this. I just don't really like the galaxy. It's not... It's not really for me. It's just not for me. Alright, let's do it. First star is going after Guppy. It takes about three seconds. 
as do two of the other stars. There's only one star that's like really long, which is the final star, coincidentally, which is the silver star one. That one takes forever, and also the gold, the pebble coins in this one takes forever as well. So yeah, definitely not the biggest fan of this galaxy. This is sit pretty low on my tier list if I ever made a tier list of this game. Alright, so let's go find Guffster over here. Howdy, Gupsters. Now, who do we have here? A friend of the penguins? Have a race. Okay, now we can... The good news is we can acquire a shell pretty early on. If we're lucky. I mean, we don't have to be that lucky. It's pretty pretty easy to get the shell. You just gotta... Swing the first bit as normal. Acquire the shell. Realize you need air. Get a little bit of air. Pick out that bad boy. Get a little bit more air. Die back down. So yeah, it's it's really just a game. This this star is really just go through the rings. It's not that hard. Any anyone who's played Superman 64 can be good at this. How you going, by the way, John? Hopefully you enjoyed uh, Darby's stream when you were in there. Does Darby do be a gamer as well. Alright, you gotta watch out for these whirlpool thingamajiggies here, because they're kind of a pain. You gotta watch out for that guy as well. Um, I always get hit by these bits of hot air with that fail, and that time I avoided it, so... I'm very pleased at myself. Um, yeah, this one is really easy. Literally all you do is just click the rings. It's not impossible by any means. It does slow down a bit here, which is kind of annoying. But it doesn't matter, because there is the final ring. Well done. Please hit him. Please hit him with the shell. Aw, oh, damn it, he teleports. Damn teleportation, man. Nice, there we go. Darby had a lot of trouble with the puzzle. Yeah, Static is a very, very difficult puzzle game. I will not, I will not doubt that for a minute. He's, he's done really well, though. He's made, he's made a lot of progress in that game. A lot more than it may show on stream. Alright, you got a star. Going after Gupster. Increase your star bit total. Alright, let's do another relatively easy star. Then we'll do the annoying one. And then we'll go from there, lads. But yeah, we'll see we we'll see just how far I can get in around an hour. I should get pretty far. As I said, I'll, I'll definitely finish the engine room today. Um, whether I get whether how whether I get far in the garden we'll have to wait and see. But yeah. We'll see where it takes us, lads. I mean, I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun. It's good stuff. This one's really easy. It's literally just a race against the penguins. It's not difficult. Yes, please. See, it's just a race. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna... Defeat these penguins. There we go. And now I basically just win because I can just do stuff. From memory, the first place guy is kind of hard to catch, but I also feel like this isn't that hard, so I think we'll be fine. Bro, he's cheating. He's going through the war the whirlpools. That cannot be illegal. I got him. I'm in the lead. Yes. All right. Can I get it in under a minute? It's not looking likely, but I w no. It's there's no way I'm getting this under a minute. Never mind. Don't know what I was thinking. Under a minute ten, maybe, if I'm lucky. Which I'm not usually very lucky, so no. Looks like we'll get it. Hopefully we get it under the 130, because that's the ideal time to beat. Oh ooh, no, that's not gonna help us. Oh no. No no no, keep going, come on. Okay, we made it. That was about the worst time possible, but we still won, so it's all good. 
Oh, I'm at 123. Here's your gold medal. Hell yeah. At least this galaxy has two really quick stars, and then one really annoying one to make up for it. Because some galaxies have, like, super long stars in general. There we go. But no, we will see, lads. We will see. Yo, 80 stars. A hungry Luma has appeared. We will probably go and do that now. Because the annoying sea slide one is next, so we might as well go and do Hungry Loom Boys when we have the chance. We've only been live for like 15 minutes anyway, so. We're doing nicely. This stream is looking out to be a good stream. Hopefully. I don't know that yet. I haven't even finished the stream. Alright, uh, I think so. this is the first thousand boy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the first uh, 1,000 lad, and there's only one, maybe two more. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure the most expensive one is 1,400. So it's not going to get that much more expensive, which is nice. I believe this one's the really annoying one, isn't it? Or is that the one at the garden? Okay, now we're good. It's it, it's the, it's the one at the garden where you have to catch the bunnies and it's super annoying. There's the trials down there. Alright, let's do this. Choosing a favorite snack. I literally remember zero things about this stuff. Oh, this one's cool, never mind. I, I, I remember how it is. Uh, it takes about three seconds to complete, which is nice. There's also a cool speedrunning trick in this level. It's also cool because it's one of the only levels that gives you a choice between uh, what uh, thing you want. You know, like which power-up you want to use in the mission. And obviously you want to choose the blue one because the V one has limited flight options and that's not fun. I'd rather take the blue, because I know all I have to do is dodge a couple a couple lights, and then I get infinite... I mean, yeah, it's, it has the bad side effect of the booze becoming uh, intoxicated by you, but it, it kind of pads it out in the end, because you do get infinite flights. So it's not really an issue. You see what I mean? You can just cruise on through with no issue. And voila, you're there. You don't even need to do anything. Whereas with the B, you have to like keep manage your flight path and whatnot. Now, this is very easy. It looks like it's difficult, so you have to run through the entire thing, but no, you can literally just long jump, run around a little bit, just a little bit. You don't need to do much running. Long jump, and then you're there, and you get a star. Very simple. Very, very, very simple star. Normally, the game wants you to run around the entire, uh, the entirety of the outside. That's cringe. You just long jump to the to the to the center, and then you're done. Very easy. And there it is. Choosing your favorite snack. Complete. Galaxy complete as well. Yes, please. Alright, let's head back up to the engine room to get this done quickly. So it's just sea slide, then the boss fight, and then we move on to the garden. That's cronge. Indeed, it is cronge. Good to see that you're learning the language of Nintendo. Uh, John. Yeah, should be good fun. And this one's annoying. This one's gonna take me a long, 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 long time to finish. So hopefully you guys are in for the long haul with this one. So stars of the sea slot. Probably one of the worst ones. Take that deal actually. Sorry, getting distracted. Let's do that. Let's do this thing! That was about the greatest <laughs> the greatest side flip I'll ever do. That was awesome. Yeah, the only reason this one's like slightly annoying is because of the the fact that I just have to do a bunch of stuff and basically go around the entire map doing stuff, which gets boring and repetitive, hence why I don't like it. 
I will go and do the Hungry Luma Star first, though, because that one, uh, it's good to get that out of the way, I suppose. Now, I believe I need 50 Star Bits to do this one from memory, so... Just what I'm doing now probably won't cut it, so... Um, I don't know, let's just go check how many, because it might be less, and I might be mistaken. Howdy. Hey you, yeah, you got any taste of Star Bits? Oh boy, I got, okay, 40, that's very achievable. Just gotta get four more, really, it's not that hard. Pretty sure there's some on the other side of this anyway. Nope, I lied. I lied to all of you. Nintendo, how could you do that? I know, man. It's, it's, it's cool, cool life. Um, is there any more on the beach that I missed? There's three there. And I just need one more. One lousy star bit. Come on. I don't really want to go that far, so... Be nice to me, game. Damn it. Don't let me go too far. There it is. That was pretty easy. Alright, let's keep going. Finch lied. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Alright. Let's feed... Ugh. No! Oh, you cringe. I have to go get three. You utter cringe game. Come on. I was so unlucky. Just chuck me out of the cutscene right before I could give them the star bits. Now I've got to put effort into getting star bits. God damn it. Those are three I need. There you go. That's the first time I've ever had to go back and get star bits when he's already like bursting. And there it is, it's Hurry Scurry Galaxy 2.0. I'm gonna do it as B Mario apparently. I don't know why it's possible for me to do it as B Mario, but I guess that's what we're working with. It might actually make it a little bit easier. This is, the, this is the one where you do have to get every single panel, otherwise you screwed. That actually makes it really easy. I don't know why I didn't do this last time. Concentration is at maximum. We're nearly there. Oh no. Okay, we're f oh, wait. Yep, we're fine. We're good. We did it! Oh my god! I get to do drawing and I'll see if someone's coming. Hello. Do you see it? Awesome. Uh, can you make sure mine doesn't have egg in it? No egg. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Just blocking it so I can't see you. Draw Tom Nook with massive muscles and a six pack with bells and a rainbow behind him. <laughs> okay. Um, I gotta go get my iPad then to do this on stream, and then I'll post it to Discord. <laughs> This will be quite epic, John, I can assure you. Sorry, for buddy. Still not working? Drum kit. Okay, I'll go grab my iPad while uh, 
glad that this is happening, John. Be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Apparently I'm allowed to use reference, that's nice. I'm just gonna look up. It's not gonna matter, it's drawn with my mouth. It's not it's not it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be some kind of masterpiece, John, but I'll turn that around so you can see the amazing effects of what is gonna happen. So I'll just go my iPad here. Got the, the pen that will go in my mouth. God, look like I joined at the right time. Damn right you joined at the right time, Funky. I'm about to draw Tom Nook with massive muscles and um, a six pack with bells and a rainbow behind him. It's gonna be epic. A uh, quick sneak peek. That is gonna be the thumbnail image for, I didn't draw the hell background, that's just some uh, uh, background I chucked on, but I did draw the characters. That's gonna be the uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival thumbnail. So hell itself with Animal Crossing in the background. And I drew a little me and a little Darby, and it looks pretty epic, and I really love it. I'm really proud of it. What else have I drawn recently? That's about it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we're not going to bother with outlines today. This is a, this is a raw boy. Alright, so. Yep, that's ready to go. Okay, here we go. Alright, we now draw Tom Nook with massive... Mu oh, God, I didn't think this through, did I? Alright, here we go. Um, I gotta make the brush size a bit bigger, so I can actually, yeah, there we go, alright, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's already a disaster. Ah uh, yes, the first line. Perfection. <laughs> oh god. Hold on, I gotta rest this on my knees so I have a better shot. I I'll just tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see. See the action. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> oh, God. One sec. Okay, exception to the rule is I can, I can shrink stuff and like resize stuff if I need to. Like I drew that way too big, so I can shrink it down a little bit to make it fit. Okay, here we go. By the way, do I have to... No, I don't think the mouthing was a great idea either. Should um, Do I colour it with my mouth or do I colour it as normal but but keep the horrible line work? Is, like, how do you reckon this should work? Do I just colour it normally but make it like make, but make the line work really shitty on purpose? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm trying to get, do this as good as I can, but... Oh, oh.
Content. Try making it as recognizable as possible without messing up the lines. Okay, well, this is a possibly the shittest thing I've ever drawn. Sorry, the sorry for the language, but um, yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. Um, would you would you guys count facial features as uh, something I should draw normally? Or I have to switch laptops? No worries. No, no, no. Every element of this I have to draw, right? I'm like, yeah, that's pretty fair. All right, bag of bells. That, that wasn't, that wasn't half bad for a bag of bells. Like, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of messed up the star, but that's all right. And then I'll make another layer for the rainbow. I think that's, I think that's, yeah. Massive muscles, oh, six pack, I'll draw a six pack on him, one sec. Okay, and then a rainbow behind him. This is truly something I didn't expect to see. Well, you'll be sorry, to, and you'll be sorry to see it, Hannah. <laughs> All right, I'm just making the rainbow layer right now. Oh wait, I stuffed up the. Hold on, I, I, I gotta redo the six pack. One sec. Oh no, your your expectations are too high, guys. This is gonna be terrible. Okay, there we go, there's the six pack, and then I gotta do a rainbow behind him. So I'll just, I'll do the lines of the rainbow, so I'll do one red line at the top, and then I'll color it in properly, here we go. Not bad. Oh, there is, that, that pen tastes horrible. Who would have guessed, right? And then I'll add the rest of the colors into the rainbow later, but, um... Voila! We got the massive muscles, we got the rainbow, we got the six-pack in the middle there, we got the bag of bells. I think that meets the criteria, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> Oh, I gotta draw his face in the lines? Oh yeah, true, I forgot about that. Shoot, let me, hold on one sec. I gotta add his face, one sec. Sorry, everybody. Okay, it's it's not it's not ungodly horrible. I say as I fill in the eyes as part of the coloring because it does kind of look good on ungodly awful. I'm just adding in, I'm just adding in color to the eyes. I mean, it's not. <laughs> I actually made it better. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's beautiful. Presenting Mr. Nookman. Oh wait, I forgot he's. He's, oh no, that can be part of colouring. Okay. Alright, now I've got to make it look as recognisable as possible. Without, like, messing up anything. Okay. That needs to be... Alright. I'm going to finish this on stream. It's it, it's it's not going to be like a... It's not going to be like a brilliant drawing, obviously, because I don't have, like... that. I don't, I don't have, like, hundreds of hours to spend on this bit of art. But I will try and make it look as recognisable as possible while still keeping the same um, line work, I suppose. I need to go back to chat so I can see what's happening. And signature, with your mouth, that's a good point. All right, up the top here. Signature with my mouth in gold yellow, here we go.
Voila, signature. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Damn right, it's a masterpiece. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to intermission so you guys have something to look at other than me drawing. Uh, so you can look at the title screen, I guess. And then I'll just very quickly finish up this drawing real quick just so I can get it done for you guys. Um, Okay, and then we need pink for the ears. Oh god, nice. Nice pink for that. Light pink. Bam. Bam. It's not going to be like the greatest drawing ever, obviously, but... I, I keep saying that because I, I feel like everybody has this expectation that this is going to be some kind of masterpiece. No, it, it, it will not be some kind of masterpiece. It is a very quick drawing I did of Tom Nook. This ain't gonna be pretty, everybody. And it ain't gonna be pretty. Um, I don't know why my line work's so messed up. Gee, wait, hang, no, hang on, I can answer that question. Gee, I wonder why all my, my, why my line work. I think it's just bad as someone controlling. I controlled someone in another country. <laughs> yes, yes you did, you evil, evil man. Actually, it's more my fault for putting in that option as a as a thing. <laughs> that was that was kind of fun though. It's a very educational experience to show me just how uh, how good of an artist I actually am <laughs> if this is what I can draw with my with a pen in my mouth. Oh god, I made it worse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what have I done? You know what? No, there are no accidents, Master Uruguay. I'm, I yeah, I I'm gonna kind of do a method called scribble coloring, where it doesn't re it doesn't try and color in the entire thing. You know what I mean? It just tries and gets the tries to get the base colors in, because that's yeah. This doesn't have to. I feel like and I feel like it'll it'll look a little bit better if I just kind of scribble color it, because it might look kind of cool. All right, so we need your skin color and chuck it in there. Those are some honking muscles, my god. Okay, I think I got the basic gist of it then. Don't use contrasting colors, that's a good point. Okay, there's some parts where I'm gonna have to tweak the line work just a little bit. Not like change it entirely and redraw it, just like fill in a little bit of it so the fill button can actually work properly. Um, yeah, cause some of these lines are a little bit wonky. I mean, obviously the lines are wonky. I'm not changing the structure of the lines. I'm just making the lines a bit thicker so they can um, have colors put into them without the color seeping into the background because you can't have the color seeping into the background, guys. Ah, oh, that would be just the worst. Also, 90% of the stream is going to be me drawing and I realize that that's almost dinner time, so I have achieved pretty much nothing today. <laughs> but that is okay. I'd rather have done this and know this is done than... Play the game? Ew, play the game? What am I, a, a gamer? No, I'm an, I am an artist. How dare you, how dare you suggest otherwise? Er. <laughs> this is quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Oof, light pastel should do. There are no, no, I'm not, I am not treating this with any dignity. This is going to be the, no, don't, don't be sorry. I had fun doing it. I am not trying to make this colored well at all. This is purely for the comedic value that it will be colored absolutely terribly. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever drawn, my god. Uh, gold. Gold for golden bell. Gold for bag with bell for gold. Okay, there we go. And then black for the actual star. The star was probably the best thing I drew on this, if I'm honest. Okay, now rainbow! Hey -o. All right, so we gotta just... Get a consistent line across for all of these to... Whoopsie daisies. Why is it doing that? Ah, oh, wrong layer, that's why. We want layer two. Drag that color in, and then it goes orange. 
drag that color in. Oh god, it actually looks like a child has done this. And I mean, they're not. I mean, that's that's not that's not a wrong statement. <laughs> Why did you color it with your mouth? Then I don't know. Leave me alone. I didn't think. About, I didn't think this through. Um, I'm gonna have to take a couple of liberties with the rainbow because uh, it's kind of lopsided. <laughs> your Mario Galaxy streams have inspired me. Hell yeah. Oh god, um... Disaster. Wait, no, we're fine. Nope, we're not fine. Um... Now we'll be fine. Bingo! Alright, and then blue, and then... Oh, you inspired you to draw again? That is good. Inspiration to draw is sometimes very hard to achieve, and it is good when a person gets that back, because I had a very long phase of not wanting to draw. And now look at me go. I'm drawing like a gamer. Okay, it's done. Um, <laughs> oh god, Jesus Christ. Um, who's ready for the big reveal of uh, the greatest things to ever grace your screen? Uh, it is muscular Tom Nook uh, with a bag of bells and a rainbow. Here we go. I want rock candy. Oh wait, rock candy. Okay, I read the first message and then I looked away and just started doing a tangent. Alright lads, here we go. This will be posted to Discord so you can see it then, but here we go. I will go to full cam, because otherwise you can't see it. The reveal of the worst thing I'll ever draw. What do you think guys? Is it, it's, it's, it's pretty epic. It's, it's Tom Nook. Right? It's, it's Tom Nook. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to post this on Discord one quick. One. One sec. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. So do I. Funny how our brains think similarly, uh, Funky Stevie man. Alright, <laughs> just to reiterate, I drew that yesterday. I can't... Wait. Hopefully... They, wait. Turn the right way. What happened? Why is it not the right way? Ah. There we go. Just to reiterate, I can draw. I drew that yesterday, alright? I can draw. <laughs> Okay, let me just export that real quick so I can uh, put it in Discord. Uh, share. PNG. And then we want to share it on Discord. To. No, no definitely not Blue Hedgehog Man's server. Um, <laughs> Nintendo server. In. Art. With the caption. Thanks to. John. Uh, yeah. Bit, uh, channel point reward right here. I hate it. No one <laughs> say it's good. No one say it's good. It was drawn with my mouth. With, wait, hang on, with the pen in my mouth. With the pen in my mouth. Perfection. Ooh, a crunch. Okay, a post. Oh god, it is on my Discord server. Oh no, oh no. I actually just posted that on my Discord server. Oh god. Uh thanks, <laughs> John. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna export the thumbnail image just so I can just showing that I can I can draw, share PS PNG, I think I selected it as Art Fintendo. By the way, here's the amiibo oh wait that's the same image you know what no no context no context people can see that i can draw from thumbnail images no context baby ain't none of that context all right let's go back to playing with the game yeah hopefully i can at least get this star done because the star is i can oh wait oh that wasn't the star i wanted but oh well we got the secret star done Thank you, my eyes have now been healed. I'm glad, John, I'm glad. 
Thank you for redeeming that channel reward, that was good fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> That's so stupid. That might be one of my favorite channel rewards. Like, it's really dumb, but it's really fun. I had fun making that monstrosity. Oh wow, look at that cosmic already. So, yeah, I just need to do this and then the awful secret uh, Silver Stars mission, and then we'll be done. And you know what's Pog? That. Underwater Comet Luigi Race. Cosmic. God, I cannot read. I'm sorry, everybody. I think I'm illiterate. Uh, this should only take me one attempt, I hope. And then we, may, we might be able to get the boss fight done as well, which will help us uh, complete the entirety of the engine room. Which means we move on to the gate, and then of course, the uh, the garden. Absolute- this is incredible distorted threat. Absolutely astonishing kitty princess. Yes! You watch. And no, 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 mark my words. If I posted my like my like my real full effort art, it probably wouldn't. It, I, I don't think it would get. I don't think we'd get the same kind of attention. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, that's funny. Absolutely astonishing. Yeah, astonishing is it's certainly a word for it. I don't think I'm gonna win this one, lads. I may have hecked it up. Oh, I've definitely hecked it up. Damn it. Ah, I was banking on him. Shit. <laughs> Not in the slightest. <laughs> I gotta go see these reactions. <laughs> it was me, <laughs> speak tender. I can die in peace now, thank you, Finch. Absolutely no drawings better than this. Agreed. This is incredible. <laughs> Absolutely astonishing. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, Finch. I love it to death. <laughs> Well, I'm glad then. I'm glad then, John. I'm glad I could, uh, help you reach an enlightenment like this. I'm still gonna lose, goddammit. Unless I'm, like, really quick. Which is unlikely. Da 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 da. Ha da da da. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, you get a speed boost when you hop out of the water. This is kind of pog champ. This is kind of pog. Oh my god, that works really well. Quick, go, 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 go. Woohoo! <laughs> we did it, lads. So now we got one more star, which is the silver stars, then the boss fight, and then we're done with the engine room. Woo For now, of course. Because we have to come back and do purple coins, but we're tracking along quite nicely. We're up to what, like 17 episodes, maybe 18 episodes of this? We're doing really well. And then of course we play Galaxy 2, which is Megapog, because we get to do Cloudflower shenanigans, and I can't wait to break the game with that, as I do. Should be good. And then we'll play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, because it's Pog. Also, I imagine that I've put PS3 in the entertainment center, which is pretty Pog. Uh, my GameCube collection is going really well. I've got four games currently, and I've got two in the post right now. So I've got, um, I, I just, I just got Super Monkey Ball, uh, Super Monkey Ball just came in the post today, so that's Pog. Uh, I got Animal Crossing the other day, of course, um, and I already had Melee and, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. And then in the post coming right now, Rock Candy makes us so immersive. <laughs> Look guys, Rock Candy, and you guys are also having Rock Candy, it's meant to be. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right. And then in the post currently right now is Mario Kart Double Dash, and uh, Lego Star Wars the video game, so the original version with um, the prequel, the prequels on it. And then I'll probably get original trilogy as well because both those games are super nostalgic for me and sub. So not playing it on GameCube. We used to play uh, the uh, the original, the video game version, which is coming in the mail right now on PC with uh, my dad's PC. So me and sub will really enjoy playing that. We might do a series out of it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And yeah, Double Dash is also coming in the mail, which is Pog, because Double Dash is Pog. Um, and then I just got an offer on eBay just before of a seller offering me a discount on Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. So I might I might take that offer as well, meaning I'll have that game as well, which will get us a 7. So yeah, I've got like a list of GameCube games that I'm like slowly working my way through uh, to collect. So that's kind of Pog. And yeah, I, I'm actually really enjoying padding out the, uh, the GameCube collection. Unfortunately, most of the other like main 
big Nintendo ones that I want to buy are really expensive, like Four Swords Adventure. There's only like one copy on eBay for the power region, which is the Australian region and Europe. And it's like 100, 150 bucks or more. I think it was more actually, it was something like 250. All, like, every single Zelda game on the GameCube is hella expensive, which is unfortunate. So it'll be quite an investment when I want to collect those, but, you know what, that's alright. I'll get them eventually. I'm content with collecting what I can, uh, I mean, I mean, I, I can't afford it. It's just, I, I, I don't want to drop 250 bucks on one game. I dropped $185 on Animal Crossing AUD, so it's about 150 USD, and that's a lot of money, and that was about my limit. And the only reason I did it is because it's Animal Crossing, and I love Animal Crossing. So yeah, I do have limits in terms of spending, so... But no, I'm actually really enjoying just having the feeling of getting paid and then deciding what GameCube game I get shipped that week. Uh, I'm also trying to finish off my Wii library. I have most of the games that I want to collect. I'm just kind of getting, like, the last few to tick them off the list kind of thing now. Like, I have pretty much every first-party Nintendo game apart from a couple of the Mario parties and a couple of the Mario Sports games. So, yeah, I, I'm really just trying to pad out the rest of the collection in terms of um, more Nintendo games, like, more first-party Nintendo games and a couple of third-party stuff that I don't have that I want. $200. Yeah, it is a lot of money. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get, get the rest of the Wii games that I really want. Uh, it's stuck finishing my GameCube collection, even though it hasn't really started yet, but I'd rather start my GameCube collection now than have to wait ages. Until, I, until they're even more expensive than they already are. So yeah, almost finished with my collecting my Wii collection. Um, on the way to starting a good, a healthy GameCube collection. Wii U I haven't touched in years. I've got, like, not that many. And there's definitely a lot more I need in terms of, like, Nintendo-related games that I don't have. So Wii U will probably wait for now. And PS3 I'm already, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. And so, it's same with DS and 3DS. I'm pretty happy with the games I have. So yeah, it's really just... Wii, GameCube, and maybe Wii U in the future that I needed to collect for, and then we're good. Because Switch is, or, Switch is fine as well. I have I have every every first part of Nintendo release, except for Fire Emblem, Heroes, and Mario, and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Those are the only first part of Nintendo games I don't currently own. So no, I'm pretty happy with the way the collection is right now. But no, I'm really, as I said, I'm really enjoying uh, doing the, um, doing the GameCube collecting, because it's good fun. And also, I just realized that by talking about my collection, it took my mind off the boring task I was doing, and now I can go and do this. Pog! But yeah, as you can probably hear, I'm very excited about collecting GameCube. Um, I'm also I'm also thinking about getting a um, Eon GC HD. It is about 250 bucks, but it will allow me to uh, upscale my, my GameCube into HD, which is going to be really, really, really good one for visuals. So the games look a little bit better because right now, like the visuals are pretty sharp and I can play them fine through th just just through the RCA cables. But um, my one complaint is everything's a little bit over brightened. So like, if anything's yellow or white, it's completely like bright white and it kind of detracts from the everything in the background, unfortunately. So it's just kind of a personal issue. I, I just really hate that. So I am I'm currently trying to determine some solutions to that issue. Right now I'm just gonna put up with it until I get a until I get a nice adapter for it. But yeah, and then uh, the, the, another bonus of upscaling to HD with my GameCube games uh, is it makes it a, a lot easier to stream, which means I can finally do that Super Mario Sunshine series that I was promising for so long and never delivered on for ages. And I feel kind of, still feel kind of bad that I promised that and haven't done it for ages. So yeah, I can finally deliver on that promise. Which is epic. He asked for a six pack. I, there is a six pack. Oh, did I? Oh, wait. <laughs> That's an eight pack. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Did I add in one more? Oh, it is an eight pack. No, I made him too muscular. No. Oh, John, I'm sorry, man. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It was almost perfect. <laughs> I gave him an eight pack. Hey, wait, no, 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 I counted six lines, but apparently that's an eight pack because I'm stupid, so... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry, John. I hope you have it in your heart to forgive me for this cruel, dishonest mistake that I've made. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys could even, like, 
make out that it was not a six pack. Read our chat. Yeah, I just read it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> How did I mess it up that badly? I mean, to be fair, I messed up the entire drawing, but, you know, it's fine. Dun. 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 Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. You put in extra. Thank you, Finge. See, that's the attitude we need, Funky Stevie, man. I put in extra. Not really, I just messed it up, but thank you for that uh, nice attitude, John. <laughs> and there it is, another Grand Star! Woo! We unlock the special place now. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> no, you didn't, Incredible Finn. Oh, oh, Grand Star. I'd, I'd forgotten I was playing a Grand Star stage. I love how everyone's just like, yeah, we love it. It's a. <laughs> It's so stupid looking! But you know what? It's fine. You know what, everybody? Not everyone's an artist. <laughs> I guess that's how we put it. Pog aggress. Indeed, progress is good. And there it is. Da 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 da, galaxy complete. You get more star bits. You discovered a brand new galaxy. Literally everything. Not progress, John. Poggress. Alright, so there we are, we have everything in the, uh, the garden now unlocked, and we're finished with the... So yeah, done, 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 Cool. So let's, um, okay, so I need to go activate that from upstairs, unfortunately. We do have to do the gate first, so we get to do purple coins again! Woo, baby! Uh, sorry, no, not purple coins, the red star mission, that's it. Do you know Dom Tendo? I do not know Dom Tendo, Mr. Uh, Naruto Bro Five Four Three Six. But thank you for joining the stream, dude. Very much appreciated. No, I'm not aware of Dom Tendo's existence. What does he do? Is he a YouTuber? Does he stream? What do I gotta know about the guy? All right, let's go and do this Red Star mission. Oh, my father is home. Maybe I will not get to do the Red Star mission. I'm tilting the camera away for one sec. There we are, you get gameplay on gameplay. There we go. <laughs> Just to prove that I'm actually playing the game. That'll mean dinner's ready, everybody, so... Um, I might have to end the stream here, actually. <laughs> Fintended. Oh, wait. F not Fintended, Fintendad. Yes, Fintend Father is home. With burgers for dinner and takeaway place, and I'm very pleased about this occurrence. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll have to end the stream here, everybody. Um, can I go inside these houses, or is that on a different planet? How'd it go? Yeah? Wasn't the fastest thing in the world? Yeah. Thank you for clipping that, John. Really appreciate it, man. That'll be the greatest clip. Make sure you post that clip in the, uh, the, the highlight moments thing. I'd love to have that in rewind at the end of the year. Eventually. This year's gone really quickly, I feel like. Don't know why. Just feels like it has. See, so yeah, I'll just jump around here a little bit more. And then we'll call the stream, everybody. No, I wonder. Can I just... I should probably just go back to the observatory, yeah. Work on getting that, uh, beam down to make it a bit easier next time. I'll be off in a second. I'm just got to end the stream. Oh no, the camera's pointed away, it's all good. I fail to agree that I realise rock, rock candy doesn't agree with braces. No, I, as someone who had braces, I don't think rock candy is the best option either. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to activate this little point here to make it a bit easier to get up and down next time. And here's where I'll end the stream. So thank you guys so much for watching this stream. If you have watched, John, thank you very much for redeeming the 4,000 uh, Starbit reward to get me to draw that beautiful Tom Nook with muscles and 8-pack. It's supposed to be 6-pack. It was epic. I really enjoyed drawing that. 
Uh, this burger smell amazing. I can't wait to have that. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, because it's the weekend, so we'll have a big long stream tomorrow, which will be big epic. We should be able to get most of the garden done, if not all of it. And yeah, we should... We'll, we'll, we'll be making a good start, lads. It'll be a good start. So hopefully you guys look forward to tomorrow's stream. I'll try and get this stream and yesterday's stream up uh, tonight onto the YouTube channel. So if you want to go see those again, check those out under the highlight reel thing on my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go do that. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next stream or video if Nintendo out. Do not do jokes, kids. It is bad. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Funky Steve Man, Nerdo Bro 5436, and John Hart 06. I read that wrong. It's No, it's 06. Nice. See you later. I'm literally just ending this. Look, guys, it's Sub-Zero! <laughs>